Close your eyes. Focus on the breath. Feel the breath throughout the body. And try to stay here. It's not that hard to focus on the breath. The hard part is in staying. You have to be really true to what you're doing if you're going to find the truth. This quality of truthfulness, the Buddha said, was so important that of all the precepts, number one, he said, if you, if you feel no shame at telling a deliberate lie, there's no evil you won't do or you're not capable of doing. The precept against lying was that important, because truthfulness is really important. If you want to find the truth, you have to be true. Because our discoveries, our knowledge that we gain in life has to come from our actions. And if you're not paying careful attention to what you're doing, and if you don't pay careful attention to do it right, you're not going to know the truth. When the Buddha was first teaching the Dharma to his son, the very first topic he brought up was truthfulness. So try to be true in what you're doing. This is one of the reasons why we observe the precepts, is so we get to develop that habit of being truthful, both in action and in word. When you do something, you really do it. When you speak, you speak what is true, as far as you know. This is that way that you learn. If you start lying to other people, then you start lying to yourself. And then the insights and various forms of knowledge that come from your concentration won't be trustworthy. They can lie to you, too. So try to develop this quality of truthfulness. Because when you really follow the instructions, then you learn what the instructions have to say, what they're talking about. And only when you really follow them can you say, do I really understand them or not? Because you may follow them in line with what you understand, which may not be true. It may be close, but it's not quite there. But when you act on what you think is true, then you're getting closer and closer to finding the truth. If you know that you're lying to yourself, or you know that you're not really doing the practice, then you're not going to learn anything. You can't be a true judge of what you're doing. You can't be a true judge of the results you get. So try to develop this quality of truthfulness both in your words and in your deeds. And you find that it has an impact on the truthfulness of your thoughts. When you tell yourself to do something, you really do it. When you really do it, then you can watch the results. And you're honest about the results. And that way you learn. As John Lee used to say, only if we're true will we find the truth. If we're not true, then everything in the world will seem to be a lie. And we'll be lost. But the truth is there. And the truth is the sort of truth that when you follow in line with the Buddha's instructions on what to do, really does set you free. There's that motto for the University of Virginia, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Well, the truth they're talking about is simply the truth of science, the truth of the arts. But the Buddha is talking about another truth and it sets you even more free, the truth of your heart. So when you understand that, you can train the mind properly in a, in a true way. Then the truth you get will be great and the freedom you gain will be more than you can imagine.